So as you know, the third and seven, the guide tones, are your most important notes. But we also have a tendency to avoid some notes. Not all notes are created equal. For example, if you play a perfect fourth over a major seven chord, it's not going to sound too great if you don't resolve it smoothly after because it's really clashing with one of your guide tones. It's a half step apart. But you also don't often want to base all of your solos around roots and fifths because then it gets boring. Your bass player and your pianist is always at least covering those two notes. So if you want to branch out of just thinking of the one, three, five, seven, but you also don't want to think of alphabet soup where you're just thinking flat seven, flat nine, flat 13. I mean, no one really has time to think like that uh, when they're soloing. So I find that a really good solution to this is to have a handful of upper structures. So what an upper structure is, it's a chord inside of a chord based off any note other than the root of that chord. So 